Hey coders, in today's video, we're creating some awesome border animations using CSS. Get ready to level up your designs with cool and creative effects. If you missed the first video, check it out for even more amazing effects. Link in the description. Let's dive in. First, we'll create the HTML for this border animation card. We'll create a container with three cards, each having a title and description. The cards will be Web Development Artificial Intelligence Web Design. Now, we'll create a border animation for this card using CSS. First, we design the card. We set the border radius to one rem for rounded corners and apply a dark background color. The position is set to relative, and we use Flexbox to center the content both horizontally and vertically. The flex direction is set to a column to stack the elements. The card has a width of 300 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. We define the background and border radius using CSS variables for easy customization. The text color is set to white, and we add 30 pixels of padding for spacing. Now, we apply a soft glow effect using box shadow and set overflow hidden to ensure any extra content stays inside the card. Next, we add the color for each card using CSS variables. Each card has a different color set using the color variable. These colors help make each card visually appealing and stand out. Then, we style the icon of the card. We set the font size to 3.5 rem. The color is set to transparent, and we add a thin outline using the color variable, which we added in the HTML previously. Now, we add a hover effect to the icon. When we hover over the card, the icon's color changes, and we remove the text stroke. Now you can see that when we hover over the icon, it pops out. We style the title of the card. We center the text and set the font size to 1.5 rem with a line height of 2 rem for better readability. The margin is set to 2.5 rem on top and 1.5 rem on the bottom to create proper spacing. Then we set the text color. Next, we style the description text of the card. We set the line height to 1.5 rem and center the text for alignment. The opacity is set to 0.75, making the text slightly transparent. Then we add a border animation to the card. To do this, we add a before pseudo element to the card. We set the content to an empty string so it appears on the card. The position is set to absolute, allowing us to place it anywhere inside the card. Now, we style the before pseudo element to create the border animation. We set the width and height to 200%. The background is a conic gradient, where the color appears at specific angles, creating a rotating effect. The inset is set to negative 50% to position it properly, and Z-index negative 2 places it behind the card. Then we add an animation called border animation that runs for 4 seconds, loops infinitely, and moves smoothly. Now you can see that the card has a stylish animated border effect. However, you may notice the border isn't rotating, so we add the keyframes to make the border rotate. We set the transform property to rotate negative 360 degrees. This means the border will complete a full rotation in the opposite direction. Next, we add a hover effect to the animated border. When the user hovers over the card, we set the animation play state to paused. This stops the border animation, creating a cool interactive effect. Now, we add the after pseudo element to the card. This will help us create additional styling effects for the border animation. Next, we style the after pseudo element. We set a custom inset variable to 4 pixels. The background color is set to a dark shade. We use the inset property to position it and apply a border radius that's slightly smaller than the card's main radius using a calculation. Then, we add a transition of 0.3 seconds to make any changes to this pseudo-element smooth and gradual. However, you may notice that the icon and text are not visible because they are behind it. To fix this, we set the Z-index of the card content to negative 1. Now, when the user hovers over the card, we change the background of the after pseudo-element to match the card's background color. This creates a smooth transition effect, adding more interactivity to the design. 